So, today's topic is all about, speaking of friends, is how do you deal with um, tenants that are facing uh, financial challenges? And I want to get ahead of it, and I've got this one great I've got a lot of great tenants but I got like this one awesome tenant that I've had for over 10 years possibly it just because it's like it just feels like it's less than that but and I reached out to him and I said uh, how you doing what do you need do you think you can pay rent and if you can't let's work something out and he was awesome. He's he has a partner, and they have some challenges, and I was willing to meet them halfway, and that's how we're going to move forward. I would rather I would rather have less money right now from a trusted. Tenant, then say I'm going to evict you. No, I'm not going to evict you. It's, I'm going to work with you, and we're going to figure out a solution. And you're still going to be my great trusted tenant to to move forward. So that's one of the things that we're doing right now. We don't have a lot of long-term tents. We have a handful of them, and uh, some of them are retired, and the income issue isn't a problem for them. They could still uh, pay the rent, but it is a thing. And I would suggest for landlords, if you are in that position right now, It's easier to keep a great tenant and to not have the cash flow that you're used to than it is to evict a tenant and then try to find a new one. That was my mindset from the, the get-go of this whole thing. It's like, what am I going to do? Tell you to leave? Or am I going to try to find somebody else? No. Work with your tenants. They will work something out and we will all sort this whole thing out and don't try to squeeze every dollar out of a, a tenant that's not the way to go you're all in this together help them out they will help you out and you will be happier in the end they will be happier in the end they will want to work they are probably very very scared they're going, okay, is my landlord going to throw me out? No. Let them know. Communicate. Talk to them. Say, here's what's going on. They may not be able to pay the whole rent, but they'll say, can I pay some of it? Yeah. If you can pay some of it, but and then we'll bank the rest, and you can pay the rest later, and we can work out a payment plan. Do that. But don't just cut them off. Have a conversation. The conversation is where it's going to start and it's going to help you figure out how you want to deal with the whole thing moving forward. Because we don't know how long this thing is going to go. So you need to control the conversation. Let them know that you're willing to work with them. And let them also know that there's options. Right now, a lot of folks are looking at the world like there is no options give them options tell them that you're here to help everybody wants help right now be that bigger person and offer help what's the worst thing that's going to happen you're as a landlord that you're uh, down a couple of bucks it's just your money going back into your own uh, investment Help some folks out, man. Like, yeah, don't be greedy. Like, just put it out there. 
We're already doing well. Don't take advantage of people. Help people. People want help right now. Because you know what? If you don't help them now, then down the road, you might need help. And this is the thing that you have to give back. You have to have a little karma, dude. So give them some... Put, put, put a hand out. We're doing well. We're the owners. We're the landlords. Give, give some help. If you have big hands like I do, offer them. But you know what I'm saying. Anyway. That's my point of view on it. I mean, there's other landlords that are like, yeah, I want all my money and stuff like that. It's like, uh, we can help people out now. Take this time right now to reflect on yourself and say, this is what I can do to add some value to the world right now when the world is spinning. Add value to the world. Think about your kids and your legacy. And when they look back and they think about what did my dad do? What did my mom and dad do while the world was spinning into oblivion? What did my folks do? That's what I want my kids to look back on and say, yeah, my dad was willing to help out and add to this story in a positive way as opposed to other people that are taking advantage of people at this time. That's the way I look at it. I want to add value. I always want to add value. I always, I always want to add positive value. Because we have the power to do it. If you are a landlord right now, you can add positive value to the way things are going it makes sense to me or do you want to squeeze people for every last dollar we have enough money we have enough value we have enough equity help the world reach out help people don't try to make another dollar off of this thing I mean, later you want to invest and go buy stuff. I get that. But right now when people are desperate and they need help and they want a place to stay and they've lost their jobs, help people. Just help them. That's what the world needs right now. They just need help. And they need people that are willing to step up and stand outside of this whole idea of taking advantage of people during this time. We need to help each other and we need to do it collectively and we need to do it without asking for a benefit and we need to just keep everybody moving along and keep everybody safe and it's up to us. If we don't do it, nobody else will. We need to lead. We need to lead. We need to be a source of inspiration and a source of leadership and a source of giving people hope. We can't just do nothing and hope the world corrects itself. We need to lead. Okay, Busboy Millionaire out.